unknowingly, she came near a lake. Nothing truly happens by chance. What seems to be a chance happening is only an appearance. Her road led her up into a highland world where the air is soft and delicate. This place feels surreal. Everything seems almost perfect. High mountain peaks, emerald woods and a turquoise lake. Almost a wallpaper she always wanted. But what's that white thing overshadowing the beauty of that place? A white crane stands motionless. It is known to be the prettiest crane around. Some say it is the prettiest moving thing alive. She checks it out. The crown, the nape, the wing, the chin, the belly. It looks quite spotless. And as luck would have it, her eyes fell on her own reflection. She sees her own chiseled face. It looks so well defined. Of course, her own face is the prettiest. The motionless crane doesn't stand a chance. She looks down at the crane and moves on. Suddenly, her walk has a certain arrogance to it. After all, as the prettiest, she deserved to have a certain spunk in her stride. She did. As she bounds in the direction of self-love, she stumbled upon a morning dove. Morning with a sense of low self-esteem. Dove always thought it was the ugliest of all creatures, but the beauty lies in the eyes of beholder. The dove was ignorant of its own beauty. Her world was shattered when she saw her reflection next to the dove. She wasn't the prettiest. She checked once, she checked twice, she checked thrice. Four times, she wasn't the prettiest. She wanted to admire the dove much more closely now. Dove was shying away in self-pity. She was attracted to the dove's humility. The dove was overawed by her arrogance. That's the moment she met her true self her reflection. Unlike her, her reflection wasn't the prettiest, but it was pretty for sure. This place was destined for her to come face to face with her pretty self. She shed her condescension. She shed her arrogance. She shed her prettiest tag. And her pretty reflection became her new reality. From now on, she's just pretty.
और अगर ये बिक गई तो जिन जिन ने इस पे काम किया उनको पैसे देते हैं Are you sure this is the right side up? Yeah. Can I go? Yeah. See, actually, it is a very tricky question. You know why? I see bird's eye view of a forest with uh, these brown lines representing gusts of wind moving through it and rain falling at the same time. Because there is so much of green and there are browns, so these browns are actually disappearing. Someone is probably in a hurry. Like has just passed through this, so I think that's the kind of a thing the person wants to. So what what will happen is I'll turn it around. You will have thirty seconds to absorb, and then you have as much time as you want to explain what okay. you have seen. Okay. You can be critical or you can be appreciative or you can be yourself or whatever you think right. that comes to your mind naturally, right? You you have an interpretation of it. Yes. When you look at a piece of art. You don't see it as it is. Yeah. You see it as you are. A beautiful place, a beautiful wall that was once. People have just spat on it. What if I tell you this is Mumbai? Yeah, I see. Maybe the buildings that are there in the fort area, like maybe CST terminus, and mm. you know, with their towers and minarets and things like that. Uh, there are, of course, elements of Mumbai. I would say it's cool because I, I could see like a local train for some reason in this. Mm. What if I tell you this is Bombay? I believe it. Yeah. I see the, the grays seem like a lot of tarmac and buildings and yeah. Um, this was a painting which was you were supposed to bid. Would you? How much do you think this would cost? I mean, ideally we shouldn't price other people's art, but then we have been requested by the artist. If you were to pay a price for it, what do you think is the right price? I, I, as in me individually. Yeah. yeah. How much would I pay for this? Yeah. yeah. So you think it's worth one lakh for you? If I have the money, I would pay. Yeah. Probably ten k. Ten thousand. Ten. Ten thousand. Twenty five thousand. Sure. So what do you think? Uh, this artist should continue making. The series, or definitely, if you ask me, yes, it's, it's something worth trying. Yeah, because it's it's about um, like it's I, I can connect to this piece. So, what do you suggest? Like the artist should continue making this portrait of a uh, like different aspects of the city, or do you think he should stop? The yeah, artist should continue doing whatever the artist decides to do. Yeah, they should contain themselves a little bit. Okay. If they are doing something of this emotion, if they try like smaller canvases. Um. So uh, this is a social experiment. I need to tell you this. Okay. Uh, uh, we are basically bullshitting. Meaning? So it's a collaboration between three renowned artists. Uh huh. The first one is the Panwala who sits right under our building. Okay. <laughs> and the uh, second one is the BMC Jhadu guy who came okay. this morning. Okay. Is this what? Which which? Can you tell me the colors that belong to each person? And the third one. Is uh, a Polish guy. Shoe polish. Shoe polish. Guy. I can see that. Yeah, but that's an exact representation of Bombay then. Very nice. So please collaborate with them for a series. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's art because it's made by somebody with an emotion. So I'm sure that when this guy was like uh, too going <laughs> on this, he must be thinking something. So yeah, I captured that moment. I still think, even if you would have told me the story in the beginning and asked me to see what you asked me to see in it, I would have still find found. No, that, that's that's pretty evident. Like yeah. it's very easy to see a forest. Yeah. Thing, but just yeah. happened. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's not planned. But, yeah. But yeah. they chose to draw. Yeah.